So um, this talk is not so much about what I know, um, it's more about what I don't know. Um, and it is called Ember Testing with MS Chemistry Dog. I am Chemistry Dog. Um, <laughs> I've only been messing around with code for about a year, um, and I only kind of really started to learn to program in any serious way last summer uh, when I attended the Flatiron School's immersive web development program. Um, if you don't know what that's about, it's a three month long program where uh, at the time they mainly taught like Ruby on Rails and maybe like a week of JavaScript if you're lucky. Um, but now I think they actually teach Ember, which is cool. Um, honestly, I didn't learn that much JavaScript there uh, and the little I did learn I found pretty confusing. Um, after the program was over, I started interviewing for jobs. Um, one of the places I interviewed was Simple Reach. Um, during my interview, I literally was like, I don't know JavaScript. <laughs> I know this is a JavaScript job. I don't know JavaScript. <laughs> I mean, I know a little. I want to learn. I'm trying to get better, um, but I really don't know it yet. So luckily, they took a chance on me, um, and I've been working there quite happily for the past four months. Um, and now, a lot of you, probably even most of you, have been developers for a while, and you may have forgotten what it's like to be so new at this. Um, so in case you've forgotten what that feeling is like, a lot of the uh, first month or two at work, I felt much like our friend Chemistry Dog. Um, <laughs> I actually, you know, a lot of my like texts to my friends when I first started the job, I was like, just, just this gift. That's, that's it. How's work? I'm chemistry dog. Um, <laughs> anyway, when I told my friends from Flatiron who were also new developers um, that I would be working in Ember, they were like, "Why Ember? It's so hard to learn. The documentation is terrible. It, why don't we do Angular?" And I was like, "Well, first of all, it's not up to me." Uh, <laughs> this is, I got this job doing Ember, so I'm gonna learn Ember, and that's just how it is. Um, and besides, hamsters are really cute. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, anyway, I started working at Simple Reach and learning Ember, and everything was going great. Um, and I started working on an application that we were bleh, migrating from uh, straight up Ruby on Rails to Ember with a Rails API, and I quickly developed a love of testing. Um, tests are great. Here I am, a new developer, navigating this massive application with a bunch of moving parts that I have no idea what to do with. Um, but there were a ton of RSpec tests on the Rails side, so I could use those to help me figure it out. Um, that was great. It was easy enough for me to write those tests uh, in RSpec for anything I wanted to understand. Um, so on the Rails side, tests were solid. Um, however, once I started working on the newly developed Ember side, I was like, Hey guys, uh, so Ember tests, um, how do we write those? Are there any tests, are there any Ember tests that are already written, are those a thing? Not really. Um, I mean, we just, you know, had just migrated over. So um, I didn't know how to write Ember tests. Um, and unlike when I was navigating the Rails side, I didn't really have that many app, uh, examples to look at within the app. Um, and I was very excited when we migrated to Ember CLI and I noticed that when I generated my models, I also got these free little unit tests automatically generated. And I was like, cool, it's just like Rails. Maybe this will help. No, it's not really, it's not really helpful. <laughs> I know it exists. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so um, I started to feel a little bit more uh, like this joke uh, that I, you know. So anyway. <laughs> So anyway, I, I love tests, I love tests. And I get really excited about tests and seeing our test coverage increase, seeing that little number go up is great. Um, and so my coworker, Nick, who taught me uh, everything I know about Ember, basically, um, was like, man, you really love tests. How about you learn to test Ember and then teach all of us? Um, this is from like a week ago, so, you know, just so you have some context. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was like, you know, what the hell? I love tests. YOLO! <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to get on that horse and ride, just like this little pug. Um, so I started looking at the Ember and the Ember CLI documentation and just like Googling the hell out of anything I could find on the topic of testing in Ember. Um, there's a lot out there, um, but I found very little of it was approachable for someone like me um, who hasn't been programming very long, let alone a number. Uh, I found a lot of documentation on testing specifically like kind of confusing. I would write tests that didn't even run, let alone pass or fail, even though I felt like I was following the guides. Uh, I wrote tests that shouldn't have passed, but did. Uh, <laughs> I was <laughs> pretty confused by it all, um, just like these guys. So. Uh, <laughs> 
You seasoned Ember developers out there are always asking, uh, what can we do to make this more approachable for beginners? Um, I mean, you're doing a pretty good job for the most part. Um, I feel pretty welcomed uh, and you know, everyone's really friendly. But if you're trying to learn about testing specifically, like I am, uh, sometimes it can feel a little more like an afterthought. Um, so my thoughts are, um, first of all, uh, the talk yesterday on testing was amazing and I can't wait to go home and watch it 10 times. Um, so, <laughs> thank you to, uh, I think, I hope I'm saying your name right, Torin. Um, yeah, so that was great and thank you for that. Um, eventually, I would love to be able to contribute to the community and I would love to help make documentation more approachable for beginners uh, the way that I would like it. I would love to create useful tu tu tutorials for others, uh, all that great stuff, but I have to learn it first. Um, so it would be great if there were more beginner friendly resources on testing, uh, similar to like the to-do list tutorial and the Ember guides, but with like testing included or something, uh, maybe some like best practices somewhere so I know what I'm doing maybe. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to keep digging and Googling as much as I can um, and hopefully next year uh, I'm going to come back to EmberConf feeling a little more like graduation dog. <laughs> So, that's the end. Um, if you have any sweet links uh, to any resources on testing in Ember, please don't hesitate to tweet them at me. Also, Simple Reach is hiring. If you find any of these cool people in the picture and you want to talk to us about Simple Reach, we totally want to talk to you. So, come up and say hi. Thank you.